channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crow Gal. We're going to the keto store. I'm so excited. If you if y'all are an avid watcher of me, you're gonna already know all of this information. So there will be a timestamp as to when like uh my my experience inside the store starts, if you will. But if you're new here, um, just to give you a little background, I live in the San Diego area and Recently, I think like two months ago, maybe, we had a keto store open up. They only carry keto things. They're called California Keto, and it's amazing. So I went there about a month and a half ago. My plan was to have my mom come with me so she could keep an eye on Daisy and I could film. Maybe my mom could film a little bit of me shopping there. That fell through. So I had to take my toddler inside <laughs> with me, and there just was, this was not, not happening. So the people that own California Keto actually contacted me after they saw my video. I still filmed a video. I still um, chatted about the store, showed you guys a haul. Um, so they contacted me and they said, feel free, like we wanna invite you to come back uh, anytime before or after hours so that you have plenty of time to film, which I thought was just the coolest, most awesome thing. So that's what we're doing now. Um, Cernan, my husband, is coming with me to film, and I'm just really excited. Um, I'm a little nervous because we're going like an hour before they actually close. Um, the One of the owners said that uh, it was, it's pretty dead that last hour, but I'm not really, I don't, I don't really like filming in front of people, but we're gonna do it today. If there's people shopping in there, we gonna be filming because this is just a really cool, um, unique thing like I, I don't know most places a lot of other I don't know any other places that have like one store dedicated to keto stuff um, so my plan is to give you guys a tour of the store um, to kind of see like the layout you know kind of what is where in the store um, and then kind of like go through and chat about items that jump out at me, chat about ones that I've already tried that I'm gonna be buying again. Um, I am gonna be buying things on this trip as well, um, so we will have like a little mini haul. But I'm just really excited to share it with you guys and to be able to take you inside. In that original video, I did show some pictures that I had found online. I kind of spoke in depth um, as to like how the store was laid out, but I just think like being inside the store and showing you guys firsthand is gonna be a little bit different. So that sounds good to you. Stick around and let's go. So, um, so is my is my cameraman wave? <laughs> so he's gonna do kind of like a like a wide shot, and then we're gonna kind of go over like each section of the store, and yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. So on this side, we have all of the shelf stable stuff. We're talking mug cake mixes, um, margarita mixes, some primal coffee, anything and everything that you can think of that would be shelf stable and keto. In the middle of the store, we have all of the baked goods. We're talking cinnamon rolls, cupcakes, coffee cake, more cupcakes. All of these are made to local, and it's kind of just like help yourself, self-serve. You grab a box and stock up on what you need. And then on the right 
right side of the store, which is opposite from the shelf stable stuff. We have all of the refrigerated and freezer stuff. Um, Y'all know I picked up one of these um, CBD sparkling waters last time. There's frosting, there's mayo, there's ice cream, smart cakes. So this is an Asian chili sauce, two net carbs per serving. That's for one tablespoon. Different, never seen that before. Shirataki pasta, which we've all seen, but they have, but they have all different shapes. So penne, fettuccine, rice shaped, spaghetti, all different ones. So nice for some variety. Last time I was here, I'm getting more. These are out of control, so good. They're four bucks a piece, which is a little, it's not pricey. It's a little much for like a mug cake, but these taste like undercooked Pillsbury cookies. So we're gonna grab three of these. Um, baking mixes. So there's a pumpkin spice, a peanut butter, and a butter, oh, butter and chocolate chip and birthday cake. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the peanut butter. I, I have tried to make keto peanut butter cookies before and they were a disaster. So I'm going to pick this up. Y'all, I've never seen pepper jack moon cheese. I've seen the cheddar and the gouda, but never the pepper jack. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, y'all, success. We got the goods. We filmed. Um, I feel really good. I feel really proud of myself that I like filmed in public because I hate doing it. Uh, but we're gonna head out, and then once I get home, I will have a, a little haul for you. All right, guys, I am home, and it's time for a haul. Uh, I obviously showed you in the video a cup or in the clips from earlier. Um, certain things that I picked up. I didn't want to show you everything because then what's the point of doing the haul? Also, my battery's about to die. I have been a filming machine today, so I am going to not tell you prices. I'm gonna throw throw the prices up on the screen like in edit the editing process just because it's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so starting out, I picked up three of these. I actually um, made one tonight when I was over at my parents' house <clears throat> for all of us to like eat and try and share together. These are so good. These are the California Keto Cookie Cups um, in chocolate chip cookie. 
I bought these last time. I was absolutely blown away. It's basically like a mug cake, but it's not a cake. It's like a cookie. Um, it tastes like an underbaked Pillsbury cookie. There's no funky aftertaste. There's no, there's no protein powder in this. So it's not like one of the mug cakes that has um, protein powder where you really taste like the chalkiness and the proteininess of it. Oh, these are so good. You literally just mix a tablespoon of water um, and heat it for 45 to 60 seconds and, and consume. These are delicious. So again, I got three, I already ate one. And then I also picked up this. This is by the same brand and this is their peanut butter cookie baking mix. Twice I have tried to make keto peanut butter cookies and both times they came out like worse than terrible, um, awful. So I'm really excited to try these. Again, I will keep you guys posted on all of this stuff. Um, this is literally just almond flour, erythritol, peanut flour, vanilla powder, baking powder, xanthan gum, salt, and monk fruit. That's it. Um, I was kind of telling my mom like, the ingredients are very clean and simple, but I think that the magic comes uh, with like how much of each, like proportions of everything um, and measurements of stuff. I feel like that's where this company gets things like right. So very excited to try that. All right, next I pick up the, picked up these. These were the one item that um, one of y'all asked me to try. So these are the Lean Bites Bakery Chocolate Chip Snack Size Craving Killers. Um, the person that wanted me to try these had said that she's tried the high key. Um, did she say she's tried them or she's heard about them? I don't remember, but um, she mentioned the high key cookies and she was interested about these. So I picked these up. Um, just if you're curious about macros, so for two cookies, it's 140 calories, 13 fat, two net carbs, and two protein. Is that right? Three net carbs, three net carbs and two protein. Then I picked up this. I got this last time I was there, but I didn't pick up this flavor. So this is the B mixed zero calorie mixer in cucumber mint. So this is meant to be a mixer for any alcohol of your desire, some tequila, some vodka. Um, the last one that I picked up was, I think it was called Classic Margarita. Um, so I opted for cucumber mint and it's totally clean. It's sweetened with erythritol, stevia extract, and monk fruit extract. So um, that'll be exciting to give that a go. These, we ate these as well. Um, when, I, when I went back to my parents' house to pick up Daisy, these are the Flock Rotisserie Chicken Chips. I've actually seen a brand of chicken chips at Sprouts. They were not keto friendly. Um, they were way higher in carb than I expected them to be. So this whole bag is two net carbs and I liked them. They're definitely more different than pork rinds. Uh, they're a little bit oilier, but the crunch is there and they were like kind of more decadent, if that makes sense, like richer, I guess would be, um, would be the good way to phrase it. Very just kind of cool and unique. That's the whole reason I grabbed this was because I had only seen those higher carb when it sprouts and I'm like, ooh, these are actually like lower carb. And literally the ingredients are chicken skins and salt. Uh, so I, I, was, I was impressed, they're different, but I was impressed with these. All right, next I grabbed this moon cheese because I've never seen it in Pepper Jack. I've tried the cheddar, I've tried the Gouda and I really like it. I think moon cheese, is kind of a hit or miss product with some people. Some people love the texture and consistency um, and kind of the crunch that you get and others not so much. Um, but I picked this up just for the fact that it's it's moon cheese, which I like, and that it's pepper jack. Then just for kicks, I got this um, Primal Coffee Company blend. So it's um, in the flavor chocolate fudge and it's collagen protein, ghee butter, and MCT oil. Um, so this is considered like a sample pack and you're supposed to blend it with your coffee. So I've talked about my hair issues and how I um, people have been suggesting to me that I um, take collagen. Like I've talked about how I do the biotin or did the biotin before I just um, stopped it after I after the doctor said, you gotta get your blood work done, stop taking biotin. Um, but anyways, collagen is something else I wanna try and see if it helps with my hair. So I just thought I'd give this um, a shot. So in this whole pack, uh, it's 180 calories, 12 fat, less than a carb, and 18 grams of protein. Then I picked up this guy. This is that uh, the coffee cake that y'all saw me get. It's like legit streusel on it, you guys. For being keto, especially after it's warmed up, like you can't even tell. It's so good. 
And then the last thing I got, I don't have because I left it in my parents' freezer. I picked up the Rebel Coconut Almond Swirl ice cream. I've never even seen that. And I feel like I've been keeping tabs on like the newer flavors they've been releasing, but clearly not well enough because I've never even heard of that one. I've never seen that one. Um, so I'm really excited to try that. All right, so that's everything that I picked up. One thing I do wanna say about pricing is, <clears throat> I feel like when I did my last haul, I was kind of researching like, are these things cheaper online? Um, because the whole point is that, you know, you're not having to pay for shipping and handling, like you get to go in a store. But if I'm paying more money for each product, will that eventually add up to what the shipping and handling would be? Um, the answer to that is no, because you would still have to go to all those different sites and pay all separate shipping and handlings. Um, and also, I found, at least my last haul, I found that about half of the products were like a smidge more expensive. I'm talking like 25 cents, 50 cents more than like the actual company's website. Um, and the other half of the stuff that I got was the same. So I feel like it just kind of is like a hit or miss type thing. Now, I do know off the top of my head, I paid seven bucks for that Rebel tonight and that is about a dollar more than I normally spend. The moon cheese was five bucks, um, which is more than if you were to get it like at Target. Granted, this is Pepper Jack, which I've never seen, so I don't know if this is kind of a hot commodity, which is why it was a little bit more expensive. But for me, like, it's still cheaper than if I were to pay shipping and handling at all these places. And and secondly, it's the convenience factor. Like, it's the factor that the fact that I can literally just drive there and pick everything up. And if I'm paying like a buck more for Rebel or 50 cents more for something else. Like, I don't know, in, in my book, like that's okay. I'm okay with that. Because I feel like in the long run, I'm still saving the money of not having to spend shipping and handling at eight different websites. So that's that. They do have a um, website now where you can order online. I don't know what the shipping, shipping and handling is like. I haven't attempted to buy anything. Um, but that's also really cool because they do have, we all know about nutrition, but they do have, I feel like way high. I mean, I know they have way higher quality products. Y'all, this store has a very, very, very high standard when it comes to what they carry. Um, they have a laundry list of ingredients that they do not allow anywhere in their store. No maltitol, no maltodextrin, no, no junk. Um, so definitely go check out the website. They ship like, everything like this. Um, they will not ship any of the baked goods or anything from like the refrigerated slash freezer um, section. They just don't have the means to do that right now. So definitely check them out. Um, and if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Drop me a comment down below. Have you guys tried any of um, these kind of newer things that I got today? Let me know your thoughts. This was really fun for me to do. And honestly, just like on a personal human <laughs> human note, it pushed me out of my comfort zone. Um, I had a smidge bit of anxiety going into it. Um, but I'm really like, I feel like I kind of like conquered. I don't want to say a fear. Like I wasn't afraid, but I feel like I kind of conquered that today. And that feels good. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye friends.